Okay, we want to find the partial derivative with respect to z of this kind of complicated looking function f that has four different variables being input. So since we want to focus on z as being our true variable in this case, I notice that we have that 1 over z fraction in along the way. I am going to go ahead and rewrite that. I'm going to use a negative exponent to rewrite that part. And I'm actually going to do it this time. So I'm going to move it up to the exponent, make it a negative 1 for its exponent. That means the same thing as 1 divided by z to the positive first, plus yz to the second power. And I haven't taken any partial derivative. This is just f. Now our partial derivative with respect to z, we kind of go one term at a time here. As we look at this first term, 35x squared w, there aren't any z's there, so we're treating that as though it's a constant. And we all know the derivative of any constant is going to be 0. Next we have negative z to the negative first. Well, in this case we can just use the power rule. Power rule says exponent comes down in front and gets multiplied. So I'm going to treat this as two negatives getting multiplied together and make a positive. And then we reduce the exponent by 1. So negative 1 minus 1 makes negative 2. Plus, moving on to that last term, again we have some z a z here. Um, that constant, the y, can come along if we would like. But we can use the power rule on z squared. The exponent can come down in front, reduce the exponent by 1. We get z to the first power. Maybe a little bit nicer way to look at this, getting rid of that 0 out in front. But I would leave my solution with that negative exponent. Not a big deal. All right, hope this helps out. Good luck.